And kind of how we handled this week, it, it was a, a little bit of a buy, but not really a buy. And, um, you know, we start our midweek game um, kind of four weeks in a row, you know, with our midweek. Uh, so we go Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Tuesday. And, um, you know, really kind of how we handled this week is we, we kind of spent the first part of the week um, kind of treating it regular. So we, we treated Tuesday like Tuesday, Monday like Monday. We gave them off on Wednesday, but we had meetings and just walkthroughs. We practiced Thursday, which was a Wednesday for us. And today, we're going to treat like an extra day of just walkthroughs and meetings. And then we'll get back with it as a Saturday will be Thursday and Friday will be Sunday for us. We gain a little bit of an extra Friday on Monday, but our guys are loaded with classes, you know, from seven o'clock to 10 o'clock at night on Monday. So we kind of lose Monday a little bit for us to get the group together. So we're trying to get all of our work done by Sunday. So Monday, Tuesday is kind of their relaxed days of just meeting. Uh, and that's kind of how we handled this week with us playing, you know, Toledo Tuesday night. Kind of moving forward, you know, with the next week being Wednesday, then you kind of restructure your week kind of that way also too. The days that you got to make sure that you have, you got to get a guys a day off NCAA wise. So that, that has to be in there somewhere. You need a two, you need a game plan day for your coaches. You need a Tuesday practice, a Wednesday practice, a Thursday's practice, and a, just a Friday, just meetings. So however the days fall into place, that's kind of how we always structure, you know, our week with those parameters, you know, always being in place and a little bit easier when you go at least every one of them in a row are weekday games. Toledo's a very good football team. I, I, I mean, I'm highly impressed with these guys on both sides of the ball. And um, I think our guys, and, and we've talked to our guys, we're going to have to play at a high level to compete with them. I think they are one of the um, elite teams in this conference. Uh, you look at them from top to bottom um, personnel-wise, and they're, they're senior latent which means they, you know, Matt's done a good job. Coach Campbell has done a good job of, uh, of recruiting and being, you know, in place. And uh, their whole front, you know, on the offensive line are all seniors, so played a lot of football for them. And I really think up to date, and I don't want to disrespect the teams we haven't played, but up to date, um, I think they're one of the best offensive lines that we will face. You know, we have faced all year. Uh, I give them that much respect. Um, so it's going to be a tough football game, but our guys are looking forward to it. Um, they have a lot of, you know, things that they do well. They, they run the football to open up the pass, but it's a spread type of offense, you know, for you. And defensively, their front is very good. Their linebackers are very active, so they get after it. It's going to be tough for us to run the football, you know, on them. Um, but we're going to have to. We're going to have to find ways to try to sit there and run, run the football on them because they're very athletic in the secondary.